In the heart of the swamps of Twisted Weald, a once noble creature known as Dreadhorn roams on his island, a corrupted unicorn whose beauty has been twisted into something dark and fearsome. This mighty beast, revered in its former glory, is now an embodiment of blight, cursed by sinister forces that have warped its mind and body. Dreadhorn's once pure coat now shimmers with a sickly sheen, its eyes filled with malice and torment. This tragic figure is the centerpiece of a quest given by Lorekeeper Calendar, a keeper of tradition from Heartwood, who grieves for the fallen creature and seeks a champion brave enough to end its misery. Adventurers who dare to face Dreadhorn must first navigate the treacherous Twisted Weald, a land rife with danger and unnatural creatures. To gain entrance to the island where the corrupted unicorn dwells, six sacred items must be gathered. The quest is perilous, as each key is guarded by formidable foes scattered across the weald. Nos Fong is claimed by defeating a vicious creature named Gnaw, while the thorny briar must be collected from the harsh desert terrain. The swamp holds further trials, where adventurers must battle monstrous beings like Lady Sabrix for her eye and Lady Lysith for her silk. Urk, a sinister entity, guards the final piece, its twisted brain. Only by retrieving these items, along with blighted cotton found in the desolate landscape, can adventurers unlock the path to Dreadhorn. Upon completing this arduous task, the enchanted mushroom fairy circle transports brave souls to Dreadhorn's island, where the corrupted unicorn awaits. The battle is fierce, demanding not only strength but strategy, as the Dreadhorn is a relentless and powerful foe. Adventurers must summon all their strength in their assault, for Dreadhorn's corruption has granted it fearsome abilities. Its hooves strike with unnatural force, and its body is protected by dark magic that makes each attack a test of endurance and will. Dreadhorn's combat abilities make it a formidable opponent, particularly for adventurers who enter unprepared. With 50,000 hit points and a variety of magical and physical attacks, it has the power to challenge even seasoned players. One of its deadliest skills is a high-level area of effect poison attack, often combined with a teleportation ability that drags players close to it, making healing or curing the poison quickly essential. Constant use of bandages with a high level of healing and anatomy, combined with Necromancy's Vampiric Embrace provides good coverage from Dreadhorn's repeated poisoning. Alternatively, Greater Cure Potions or Fast Arch Cure Casters are indispensable in these moments, as are pets with strong poison resistance, such as the Windrunner, Nagisaurus, or Kusidhis with its ability to heal and cure itself. Despite these challenges, Dreadhorn is considered one of the easier peerless bosses for solo melee builds. In groups, a combination of tanks and healers simplifies the fight, with one player focusing on curing the constant poison while others manage the tanking and damage dealing. For mage-based parties, summoning Earth Elemental's works effectively as Dreadhorn's dispels are not frequent enough to overwhelm the Elemental's aggression. Defeating Dreadhorn yields a treasure trove of valuable crafting resources. Foremost among these is the Dreadhorn Main, a prized crafting ingredient coveted by master artisans, essential in the creation of potent artifacts like the Scrapper's Compendium Spellbook. Carpenters can also craft a mounted Dreadhorn from the pristine Dreadhorn Head, making this encounter particularly appealing for those seeking both functional and decorative rewards. In addition, the fight against Dreadhorn is known to yield peerless ingredients like corruption, taint, blight, and putrefaction, all vital for crafting high-tier equipment. Dread's Revenge is a rare weapon dropped by Dreadhorn, highly valued for its powerful bonuses. With plus 20 to fencing and 30% hit poison area, 100% poison damage, and 50% increased swing speed, it's ideal for fast-paced toxic strikes in combat. The Dread Flute, also rare, has replenishing charges and emits a haunting melody similar to a specter's wail. For those who succeed in freeing Dreadhorn from its curse, the rewards are great. A strongbox filled with magical items, a token of gratitude from Lorekeeper Calendar for ending the suffering of the once noble creature. Yet, the true reward lies in lifting the shadow that has fallen upon this majestic unicorn, restoring a measure of balance to the twisted realm of the Weald.
Oh, my God.